What's up guys, Bubba here from Team Curbcraft, and today I'm going to be returning the series Mashup Madness. Uh, so today we're going to be doing a Mashup Madness with my Gothic Mansion, which was toured on my old channel. So uh, I just kind of retoured it real quickly so that we're going to have kind of have a side-by-side. -side. So we're just going to walk down here into the lower family room, and then we are going to uh, watch it on these two TVs right here in just a second. So we have the steampunk on the right side and the city texture pack on the left. And as we go around on the outside, it the outside it doesn't look that bad in the steampunk compared to the original. Uh, the only thing I'm just not a big fan of would probably be the stone bricks and the glass. The glass, the circles and kind of stuff. If it was just a plain white, this would probably be one of my favorite texture packs throughout the entire uh, console. But just the glass, it's such a used block and they kind of just ruined it with that. The exterior, it kind of goes from a yellow, as you can see, to it changes into this, uh, like, plated brown. So that kind of throws it off, but it actually doesn't look that bad because because of the fact that the roof, being the spruce wood, it gets a lot darker. So it kind of, like, counteracts the fact because it was a lot lighter on the original build. Uh, stone bricks, uh, they're a little bit darker in this one. Um, I can like it. I'm just not a huge fan of it overall, but it's not that bad. So we're going to walk upstairs. The quartz looks really good. The doors, I like the city texture pack doors just a little bit more. The light gray wool, it throws everything off in the uh, steampunk. The balconies still look really good as you can see here. And the doors, just again, the light gray wool, with being that checkered pattern, it throws off the rug right there on the ground as you can see. The couch and the ceilings, so I'm not a huge fan of that at all. The kitchen just looks absolutely horrendous because of it. But you could build something totally right for this texture pack, which I like. Stairs being the quartz, oh, they look really good. Uh, as we go downstairs, you can't look into the wine cellar onto the uh, steampunk, but on the city you can, so I kind of like that. The pool table doesn't look very good because of the like green wool that's in it now. Uh, the light gray wool, still, I, I just can't get over it because it just looks so bad. The book, uh, the library looks really good. In the steampunk, I kind of like how it looks with the pull-out drawers. So we go down here into this bedroom wing. Uh, I really do like the way that it looks. Uh, the bed looks really nice. The closet looks really good, except for the light gray wool. So I'm just going to be quiet about the light gray wool because I'm just being really repetitive. The bathroom looked really good. I do like the way that turned out because of the really low white quartz. The I really do kind of like this TV room except for the paintings for the TV. It doesn't look very good considering it's the dinosaur now. As we go upstairs, the quartz still looks really good. As you can see, you can get a better view of that like plated yellow wool there. Not a huge fan of it. The bedroom in there looked really good. The balcony on the exterior, I really do like the way that this looks. Um, as we walk back inside here, you can see the doors. Uh, this bedroom, I really do like the way that it looks. The red carpet and red wool look really good. This bathroom, absolutely terrible. And then uh, this bedroom, I'm kind of like this one with the blue. It actually does look pretty good. And then as we walk around here on the front balcony, you can get a better view of the glass. Still not a big fan of it. That's the only thing I don't like about this texture pack. And then there's a few other things if I really nitpickied through it. Uh, this office doesn't look that good because the painting for the computer's gone. As we walk through here, uh, we go back up the stairs. That little room right there, I really do like the way that that looked in the city texture pack, but not so much in the steampunk. Here's the master bedroom. It, it's kind of an eh yeah to me because the orange wool does not look very good. Uh, that's what this was. It was an orange and white themed bedroom, as you can see in the city texture pack view. And those dormers don't look all that good because the paintings now, it's exposing some glowstone that I was using to light up that area. As we walk over through here, uh, the couch area doesn't look that good. The orange wool still doesn't look that good. Um, the bathroom, it's kind of a toss-up to me. I'm not in love with it, but I don't hate it. So uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. Again, you guys can leave your opinions on what you like about the texture pack and the builds in each other in each of the views. There's just not really like a perfect texture pack out there yet. So uh, hopefully we'll get one of those that has like pretty much all the blocks look really good. Uh, the bathroom right here, not a huge fan of either. The bedroom in there, I kind of liked it. Uh, so, as we go up here into the attic, uh, I really do like the attic and the steampunk. It was good. And as we walk back down here, the back porch, I really do like it. 
The grass back here, not a fan of very much. Uh, we'll see better here in just a minute. But this like apartment suite back here on the garage. Honestly, it's again the toss up. It's I'm not a huge fan of it just because of the way that the light gray wool throws everything off. But besides that, it doesn't look all that bad. The bathroom in here, pretty good. I kind of like the glass for this instant over there on the shower curtain. It kind of adds like a little bit of privacy to the shower. Um, as we walk over here into the garage, the garage doesn't change awfully much. The stone on the ground, that's about the biggest change I can see. But the it actually does look pretty good in there. Uh, as we walk around here through the pathway, the basketball hoop, it changes a lot. Driveway, <coughs> Driveway changes a good amount. The grass... You can see it better here. It was already pre-mowed, and then the mowing and the steampunk, they're like in opposite directions, and it really doesn't look that good, to be honest. This is like a kiddie play set. I really do like the way this looks. Uh, if we go up here into the treehouse, treehouse doesn't change overly much. There was a TV where that painting is, uh, but that's about the biggest change that I can see. The pond still looks good in both. The grass, you can see it again. And then as we finish out the driveway here, uh, not too big of a change on the driveway, but that concludes the episode. Thank you for joining me today for another episode of Mashup Madness. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave some suggestions, of the not suggestions, leave uh, your opinions on what you saw in the video uh, for what you think was good in both of them and what you just didn't like. Um, that's pretty much it. If you, uh, that's pretty much it. Again, peace out, guys.